Why do you think people show up in the numbers that they do? Why do you think people are frustrated? Because people are dying under Tory rule. The rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer. We hear that all the time. We hear it so much that we're kind of desensitized to it, you know? Like, oh, yeah, the rich are getting richer. Um, people are just getting fed up. We are, we're living in a neoliberal economic dictatorship. And the only way we can stop that is not by electing another alternative neoliberal capitalist party. We need to actually force change on the streets. Obviously, there isn't very much leadership here today. There isn't a coherent message that we're really sending out except fuck you. Our freedoms are inherent. They're not a privilege, not a secondary right. They're not granted to us by another human being. We are born into the universe as free human beings, equal each and every one of us. And yet, throughout societies around the world, you've got your, your upper class, your middle class and your working class, and then you've got your impoverished, your impoverished. There should never any, be anything like that in the world at all. You approach a police officer and you say to that police officer, why are you here tonight, sir? They say, I'm just doing my job. That's the only answer they can give. They're just doing their job. Now, I don't trust anybody that says, say that. I'm just doing my job. Didn't Goebbels do that? Hey? Didn't Goebbels do that? Yeah. And all the men that uh, pushed all the, uh, the gas chamber buttons, they were just doing their job just too? Just doing their job. Mm. Mm. And I think the police kind of need to make it known now more than ever whether they are going to be on the public side or the 1% side. If you all hate the bikers, clap your hands. If you all hate the bikers, all hate the bikers, all hate the bikers, clap your hands. Capitalism works for privilege. If you're not born into privilege, how are you going to get a chance? If you're sitting at the back of the end of the classroom and that's where you're sitting versus the kids in the front, and you have, a, you have your teacher telling you to throw a, um, a piece of paper into the bin in the front. That's your opportunity, that's, that's, that's your privilege. The guys in the front are gonna make it, the guys in the back stand absolutely no charge whatsoever. All you wanna do is peacefully protest and walk down the street. You got too much to ask. We all talk about the system, when the system is just something we attach from within. The system doesn't even exist, really. The system is fictional, you know, and we're all enslaved within the system yeah. and the controlling mechanism of that system is money and you know and that controls everyone who, allow, who allows the system to continue we do we ultimately. do we do this is why we're standing this here is today. why we need enough people to stand together and we are the only ones who can change it thank you police officers for being out today i know you're only human beings i appreciate this there's no harm going on here everyone loves everyone there's not enough love in the world and this whole world is run on hatred racism, Fear. fascism, um, capitalism, you know, you name it, all the isms. We tried every ism and there's one ism we haven't, we haven't tried, altruism. Love it. Humanism. Yeah, right. Humanism. Mm. That's it, because that's what we are ultimately. That's, that's all we need. Yeah. That's all we need. What do, you, what do you say to people who think that that kind of a system that could serve everybody on this planet is utopic? Is that, is that something that we could achieve or is that just a dream? Why, why couldn't we dream it? Why couldn't we achieve it? That would be my question. Something has to be dreamed before we can before we can become a reality. Um, some guy once upon a time sat and decided he wanted to um, open up a world bank and then decided to, uh, to take over the world and control it that way. That happened. It came from a dream. Um, was that utopia to him? Absolutely, it was. But he managed to managed to achieve it. Um, it's not really difficult to go and help somebody. You, it's the it's the biggest anti-depression cure that we've got. Don't give us don't give us tablets to help us with the depression. Go help someone. Go buy someone a coffee. Go go make their day. You know, say hello to them in the morning. Make sure they feel valued. It's really really is as simple as that. But our classes teach us not to not to not to look at the human value, the human factor of it. We get labelled in our in our um, our working roles as whatever we are, whether we're a street sweeper or a high end executive. The high-end executives don't get the don't get the grief because they make all the big decisions. They pay everybody, but what they do is they also take the money away from the people that aren't getting paid as well. You see, so um, capitalism absolutely doesn't work. We've seen it. We've seen it the world over. It's and, time to change. And there's there's one thing that sums that up. There's no longer any values in society. Just value. Everything from the start of humanity, we believed that we could strive forward. We believed we could build cars, planes, 
and it's only from our belief. Right? Absolutely, we, we manifest your reality. It's yeah. very simple as yeah. that. Yeah. If you want it, you'll get it. It's it's it's, it's simple. Just love, man. That's it. Just love.